You want to say hi to everyone? You have eye pokers and everything. You want to say hi to everyone? Everyone, if you're not familiar with my pup, this is Miss Fuzzy Butters. She is a French tin. She is half French Bulldog, half Boston Terrier. So she's really very Boston-like, but she has like French Bulldog ears. They're like gigantic. Anyway, she was here. I wanted to say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Why do you look so sleepy all of a sudden, baby? She was just playing. Okay, I'm gonna put you down because you're getting heavy. You're getting heavy. You're not a pup anymore. You're not a little pup anymore, huh? <laughs> Cutie, cutie, cutie. Hey guys, we are gonna be trying out a brand new concealer today. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Coverage Stretchable Concealer. I have it in the shade three. I purchased this at Nordstrom and it was $34. And we're gonna be doing a full day wear test with this. I'm gonna apply it in different ways on uh, both sides of my face just to kind of see how different applications work. I'll do a check-in and then I'll do a final review at the end of the day. So I had mentioned this in my Will I Buy video from last week and a bunch of you actually commented that you would love to see me test this out. So here is what the bottle looks like. It looks very much like the Armani like lip glosses or lip maestros. It's the same shape too. And the doe foot, oh this is a lot more like liquidy than I thought. I thought it was going to be, since it's like a high coverage, I thought it would be kind of like thick and tacky, but it seems really thin. But here is a close up of the doe foot applicator. It's actually angled at the top. I hope you guys can see that. It's like just straight up and down and it's pretty flexible. So when I apply concealer, I apply it over my foundation. And uh, right now I have a little bit of my Edward Best Ultra Dewy I think complexion perfector or something. It's called something like that. Anyway, I used shade uh, one light in that product. I have that all over my face, just a light layer. I just kind of wanted to even out my skin tone, but I didn't want to cover too much because I wanted to see how much coverage this had. I'm probably going to look pretty weird all day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, we're doing this for science. So I'm trying to think, I usually apply concealer, you know, with my fingers or with a brush. I don't usually use a beauty blender unless I'm already using a beauty blender, a sponge, like, you know, to apply foundation. Like if I have one handy, basically I will use it, but I don't generally. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, by applying it and tapping it out with my finger on this side. So I'm just going to apply some straight from the doe foot. And since it is high coverage, I'm gonna go slow because you can always add more later. Uh, I'm not going to put any on the lid just yet. I wanna see, again, how high coverage this is. I'm just gonna take my finger and tap this out. This shade for me, this number three, is definitely a brightening one. You can see how much lighter it is than the rest of my face. I tend to like concealers that are a little bit more brightening, so I am okay with that. But if you have a similar skin tone to mine, you'll probably wanna look into something a little bit deeper. So I'm just tapping and tapping, just making sure it's all blended out. Looks kinda of crazy over here. This is probably one of the thinnest uh, consistencies I've come across. In terms of a concealer, I feel like I mean, it's probably not quite as light as the By Terry, the Terribly Denseless, I always mispronounce that, um, that serum concealer that she has, but it's, it's kind of similar to that. Everything else that I use has a bit more thickness, has a little bit more substance to it. This is pretty thin, which is really surprising considering it is uh, high coverage. I should probably read what the box says. High coverage stretchable concealer. And then it has the ingredients and that's it. There are no application tips or anything. So far, I am really liking the way this looks. I really like the way this is sitting on my skin. It's not like dipping into my fine lines and it doesn't really feel tacky at all. I have uh, some concealers that are definitely on the tackier side and I know that's kind of what keeps them in place, kind of like lip gloss, and I don't necessarily like that feeling. So I'm really excited by this, the texture. I wouldn't say this is the most like full coverage concealer I have, but it's up there, it's up there. I wanna say it's like a medium to full. Wow, it looks great. I'm gonna zoom in right now so you can compare two sides so you can see what the coverage is like. And you saw I just put like four dots basically under this eye. And this is the side without anything. And I think not only is it not sinking into my fine lines, at the moment I feel like they're kind of blurring my fine lines. Now, I don't have necessarily like very dark circles under my eyes, but I do have like discoloration. You can see like right around my 
eye area that my skin is a little bit darker. And so that's what I like to even out. And since I like that brightening effect, I really like to kind of bring down the tone of my skin around my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on this side. I'm gonna put four dots again, and then I'm gonna use a concealer brush to blend that in. So let me go ahead and apply here. So one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna use one of my favorite concealer brushes. This is the Sigma Precision Round P82. It has like this nice dome top. I just think it, it kind of like stamps concealer in really nicely. It almost like mimics my fingertip, you know, it's just like this tap, tap, tap motion. I think the application with the brush is a little bit uh, thicker, um, and then the product didn't go quite as far. I feel like on this side it almost reached my hairline. I had to kind of keep blending it out, but over here it just sort of stopped right around here. I think I like the side with the finger application more. So I'm just going to tap this in a little bit. I always feel like that kind of smooths it out. Wow, I am really liking this concealer so far. I think it looks great. I'm going to zoom in again so you can see this eye, compare the two applications. So this side is finger, this side is brush. I did tap it out a little bit with my finger, but mainly brush application. Like when I look at myself from a distance, it really looks like it's blurring. I think it looks fantastic, even close up. I feel like my fine lines just really look minimized. All right, I've just been sitting here a couple minutes. I just wanna see if it kind of sets down uh, to kind of like a matte finish. I think I remember reading on the website that this is supposed to be like a very matte concealer, but it still feels a little bit tacky. I do feel like I'm gonna have to set this down because of this tackiness, but I think what I wanna do, again, for science is I'm gonna set down one eye and I'm gonna leave the other eye alone. I just wanna see if it creases. And I should mention now that I do have a dry eczema prone, like sensitive skin. Just thought that would be helpful information. So let me go ahead and get some setting powder and we'll set one eye. All right, I have my Clé de Peau setting powder. I grabbed this one. I've been using my Kogendo like natural finishing powder a lot, but I tend to reach for that powder if I'm going for like a kind of a glowy look, if I've used like liquid highlighter or really radiant foundation or something like that. But because this concealer, you know, says it's like a matte finish, I figured I would go for my Clé de Peau, which has a matter kind of flatter finish. So Sorry, just looking for a brush. What else is new? I'm gonna use my uh, Sonia G E No Chige brush. I'm going to dip it in. And I'll go ahead and set the side that I used uh, my finger to apply. And I'm just gonna use uh, the side of this brush and just roll the powder on to set it. All right, and we'll leave that side alone. I'm wondering if I should try and apply some concealer to my lid. So I'm just gonna apply some to both eyelids. And I'm just gonna use my finger and tap that in. I probably should have done that before I powdered, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder to this eyelid. Just set that all down. All right, so um, on days when I do like an all day, whoa, on days when I do like an all day wear test for a base product like foundation or concealer or powder even, I try and leave my makeup like very, very light because I feel like the other makeup can kind of not just affect the performance, but affect like your interpretation of it on my face. So I think I'm just gonna add like a little bit of like blush. I'm gonna put something on my lips. I'm going to uh, do my eyebrows, but I think I'm gonna leave it really, really simple. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, go about my day, and I will be back for a check-in. I forgot to tell you what time it was. Uh, it is about eight o'clock in the morning. Let me just make sure, hold on, where's my phone? Okay, I don't know where my phone is, but my computer says it is about 8.07 a.m. in the morning. So I'll be back at around lunchtime, give you a midday check-in and I'll see you then. Hey guys, I'm doing a midday check-in for this Armani concealer. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. So I've had this on four and a half hours. I should mention that um, you guys saw me put powder on this eye, but all I did was add a little bit of blush to my cheeks. I put a little bit of lip balm on, which has already kind of worn off, and I put in a little fiber brow gel. So that's all I have on my face. I have nothing around my eyes, and it's looking like really, really good. This is the side that I powdered. This is the side that I did not powder, and 
the non-powdered side looks fine. I was afraid because of the kind of thin texture and that it kind of stayed a little bit tacky. I was really afraid it was gonna shift or move or crease or do, you know, weird stuff. And it really hasn't. If anything, I think maybe it's just kind of faded on my eyelid a little bit. I was scratching my eye, this eye a little bit. For some reason, this eye is a little bit itchy today. This eye I haven't touched, and this is the side with the powder. So, so far so good. And I'm just standing in front of a window right now. So this is just natural light that you're seeing. I think it looks really great. I think it looks uh, just as nice as it looked when I first put it on. And so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. So that is my check-in and I will see you guys uh, closer to dinner time for like an eight or nine hour uh, final check-in, final review. I will see you then. Hey guys, I'm back. It is about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I've had this makeup on since 8 a.m. So it's been about nine hours and this concealer is looking really, really good. This side that I didn't powder, it's definitely fading a little bit. I feel like it looks a little bit, uh, like I can see it wearing off over here. It just looks a little bit like it's separating. But the side that I powdered looks flawless. Like you can still see all the concealer there because all I have is foundation on and no other makeup. But I'm gonna do a little bit of a close up here so you guys can see the concealer around this eye and the difference here. So this one lasted a good long while, at least five hours, because I checked in at about four hours, and I was kind of trying to check every hour or so. And I want to say at about five hours, you could really see like the fading. It hasn't like sunken into my lines. It really is quite impressive. I want to say though, and I think this is a little curious. I mean, I love the formula. It's very thin. It's very comfortable. It goes on really nicely. It blends out beautifully. I really liked using my finger with this. I didn't like it as much with the brush. I really liked using my finger. I think probably because it is so thin. I think the brush ate up a little bit too much of the product. But this is supposed to be like a super high coverage like matte concealer where to the point where I was a little bit scared, especially knowing or being familiar with the Armani Power Fabric Foundation. But I don't think that's the case. I mean, I think it is, you know, it's not radiant at all. There's no shimmer to it, but I didn't find it like a flat, flat matte. I also don't find it to be like super high coverage. I mean, there's definitely coverage there and I would say it's probably medium, medium high, but it's definitely not, it's not like a shape tape situation where you like put one dot for me, you know, you put one dot and that is enough for like your entire eye area. So I don't think it's as like high coverage as they're making it out to be. So I really, really love this concealer. Of course, this is the first impressions. This is the first day that I'm wearing it, but I am very impressed and I'm much more pleased with it than I thought I would be. So that is it for today. Today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.